In this exercise, I'm going to get you to create a very small website, basically two pages with a few images that we'll use. I'm going to have you name your first page basic underscore HTML dot HTML and ultimately your second page will be index dot HTML. I mean, you can do one first and the other second, but you will have these two pages named accordingly. You will also have a folder called images. And in there you'll have the cookie one graphic and the cookies underscore where to pie dot JPEG graphic. Actually, we don't need this one, so I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. So once you download those images, create a root folder, call it root. Inside of that, create a folder called images. Inside of that, put the two image files inside of images. And then in that same common root folder, you're going to create two HTML files. And let's take a look at those now. I have them finished in the browser. So let me just switch over to the browser. And what I want you to create is the following. At the very top, you'll have the word anchor here, the words anchor here. And you will, you will create an invisible anchor using the A tag. And you'll use the attribute called ID equals. And I would recommend calling it top page or top or something like that. Then directly below that, in its own paragraph, you will display this image. And I think this is the one called where to buy. And then below that, in its own paragraph, the text heading one, actually applying an H1 tag to that line. And then below that, very similarly, the text heading two, surrounded by H2 tags, also in its own paragraph. And then directly below that, the word paragraph, again, in its own paragraph tags. And then below that, we will create what's called an ordered list, and that displays the lines by number. And within this ordered list, I'd like you to create three lines, please, and use the same text I'm using here. Below that, once again, on its own paragraph line, this sentence, in the middle of the sentence, this word is bold and not normal. So apply the strong tags to the word bold. And then very similarly below that, we have this almost the same sentence. In the middle of this sentence, this word is italic, right here, and not normal. So I'd like you to apply the italic tags, and that's the EM tag, short for emphasis, EM tags, around the word italic. And then again, the line below on its own paragraph, link to index page. And you will make the word index a hypertext link. And if I were to click on it, I would go to the other page, which is actually called index.html, and just create the title index homepage, put that inside of h1 tags, and then below that on its own paragraph, create a line of text link to basic HTML page and make the whole line a link back to the HTML page that we just looked at. Now below this link, I've come back here, is an image of the cookie. But it's not just an image, it also doubles as a link as well. So I want you to place this image in its own paragraph once again. Also make it a link to that same index page. And we link back to there. And then finally, a few more elements directly below that, the copyright symbol, where the code is provided to you, I believe in document three. And then below that, we're going to create a table with two rows and two columns. You will make the table width 300 pixels wide. And I'll say 100 pixels tall, just to make the numbers nice and round. And inside of each table cell, known as the TD tag, you will just put the text one, two, three, and four. And then finally, on the bottom line, once again in its own paragraph, the words link to anchor at top of the page, where the word link is a hypertext link. And if I click on it, it will push the page down to that invisible anchor. Now the page has to be scrollable for you to actually appreciate the link to the anchor. If you can see the whole page, nothing really will change. So 
maybe just shorten the height of your page to test that when it comes time. All right, so if I'm down here and I click link, it goes back to the top of the page. So that's your basic HTML assignment, and I'd like you to create that today.